tried to, you know, help clear a path, but unfortunately it's another 20 yards in the woods. We have a tree that had crashed through the sound wall onto uh, I-20 eastbound. It just was like something very messy and scary. About 580,000 people across the state are still without power tonight after Zeta made its way across Metro Atlanta and North Georgia. At one point, there were a million. The storm bringing down trees onto power lines and homes. Three people have died as a result. We also know a handful of school districts have already decided to call off classes tomorrow because of the widespread power outages. The list of closings or switches to virtual learning is running at the bottom of your screen for you. We have team coverage tonight from some of the hardest hit parts of Metro Atlanta. Plus, we are tracking how outages are impacting the final days of early voting. But first, let's get you out to Andy Parati in Gwinnett County, where two people were killed when a tree fell onto a home. Andy, what can you tell us about the victims? Hi, Jennifer. The fire department did not release the names of those who died, but this is where it happened. This is the home, and that is the tree that fell on top of it. In particular, the back side of the tree, where the bedroom was, where the couple was sleeping, presumably sleeping in bed, where the tree fell and pinned them, killing them. Now, earlier today, we shot video with our drone showing you a different vantage point of what happened. And what you're looking at is a hardwood tree where the trunk split in half. One half of the trunk fell on the ground, the other on the home collapsing on the back side of the roof, falling into the couple's bed, killing them. We're told the people who died are young, a man and a woman in their 20s. They were found by the man's brother who stopped by to check on them about noon. After the storm passed, he then called 911. It took crews three to four hours to recover the bodies. Here's the fire department explaining the challenges of getting that done. Well, it's a technical rescue operation. Our technical rescue team is here. They are having to uh, use a large boom from a heavy wrecker to try to stabilize the tree. We don't want the tree to roll or to cause any further collapse or damage. Uh, we're trying to cut away with a saw as we stabilize the tree, trying to release some of the pressure just so we can recover the bodies. Back now live, you're looking inside the home's bedroom where the couple died and just reminders of a life once lived there. There is a dresser that you can see that was presumably right next to the bed. And what you can't see is in the back part of the bedroom, there's a hat rack and there are still hats on that hat rack. The Gwinnett County Fire Department says that they responded to 175 storm related calls from 4 a.m. to 8 this morning. This was one of them. Ladies, back to you. All right, Andy Parati reporting for us. Thank you, Andy.